I've noticed that a lot of times when a person is dating another person and the other person is doing actions that aren't pleasing to us or are confusing or aren't allowing us to get our way, there's this tendency we all have to want to try to analyze them and look at what things are they doing, but also why are they doing those things? Could it relate to insert random thing here? And is that why they're treating me the way they're treating me? I had a conversation recently with a female friend of mine who has been dating a guy for a while. He's been getting distant. He hasn't been really doing a good job of planning dates. He's been ignoring her at times through text. And when they get together, there's been some contentions at times that seemingly come out of nowhere, right? And so my friend is sitting there and talking to me like, I'm trying to figure out why it is this guy's acting this way. Well, you know, maybe he's an avoidant, you know, his attachment style is an avoidant type. And so that's why he's acting this way or that way. I've had guys write me on my channel asking me questions like this girl, well, she went through a hard childhood and therefore this is why she's acting the way that she's acting. This is why she's so distant. This is why she won't open up to me. And I used to do the same thing when I was a younger dater and I couldn't figure out why it was that a woman that either I thought had interest in me or thought I sh that that should have interest in me, why they were suddenly acting weird or strange or not, you know, or constantly flicking on dates or not saying yes to things or not opening up. And I would sit there and try to come up with like a thousand different reasons why this person is acting the way they do. Maybe they came from a bad childhood. Maybe they never learned conflict resolution or negotiation skills. Maybe their, their emotions are all over the place because their mom and dad always fought. And so they never learned how to have an emotionally healthy relationship, right? I did this for years. And then it just dawned on me over time that at the end of the day, as much as I may want this person and therefore, as much as I may be trying to figure out a reason why they're doing the thing they're doing or, or I'm trying to justify the way that they are, the bottom line is it comes down to this. Is the behavior that this other person doing going to be something that you can tolerate for a long period of time? That's it. It doesn't matter how much analyzation you do. It doesn't matter if you're able to come to a logical conclusion that the reason that this girl or this guy or, or the reason that they're acting this way is because when they were five, this thing happened to them and that's why they're treating me this way. Yeah, I figured it out. That's admirable to do. And clearly I have a channel in part because I analyze people all the time, but none of that matters if the end result is that the behavior that this other person is bringing to you is a behavior that you cannot deal with long-term. So for example, right? One of the things that was bugging my friend about the guy she was dating was because he would never plan dates. Like she was constantly the one that had to come up with a date idea and take him to some part of town. And there was a lot of stuff he hadn't done before. And that was very frustrating to her because she was like, why is it he won't just plan dates? And so again, she tried to analyze Maybe it's because of this, or he hasn't had a lot of experience in the past, or other girls he did X, Y, and Z. And we could like sit there and talk for the next 20 hours or days on end about why it is that this person doesn't want to plan dates. But does that actually matter when the behavior itself is not going to change? And that's what I want you to focus on. Because in that example, for example, that guy may be a guy that never plans dates. And there are some women that would be fine with that. They'd be like, hey, you know what? I'm a control freak anyway. I want to plan stuff. But the question is, can you handle that behavior long term? If you cannot handle that behavior, you find that the feeling you get from the behavior this other person is giving you is an ick feeling or is the feeling of feeling disrespected or feeling like they're not putting in effort. Can you handle how that person actually is with this behavior for the next 10, 20, 30 years. If you are recognizing that as much as you like this person, you cannot handle certain behaviors or you cannot justify long term being able to deal with certain excuses this other person gives, then you got to be out. I could get that you would be frustrated by a person showing up a certain way. And maybe you're, you're analyzing them in part because your brain wants to justify why they're doing it things. So either A, you can decide that you're fine with it, even if you're really not, or you're figuring, now that I know the reason, if we can just heal that person from their reason of not doing the thing I want them to do, then they'll start to do it. That is a disservice to you. 
And that is a disservice to the person that you're dating who up to this point has been operating this way for many, many years, if not decades. I get being hopeful that you coming along and suddenly throwing this magic wand around them is going to be like, oh, the magic wand of love is going to make them decide that they want to change this behavior and it's going to be different and they're not going to treat me this way anymore. They're not going to talk this way anymore. They're not going to have this habit anymore. They're not going to have this toxic trait anymore. And that is just, I have found in my years of dating, not something that is probably going to happen. I'm, I'm sorry to say that, but not really because, hey, I was the guy back in the day and wore cape, the superhero cape. I'm going to save this woman from herself. She has these toxic behaviors. She's into these toxic things. You know what? If I get in there and show her how much I care for her, she's going to realize she has self-worth and she's not going to want to do those things or say those things or act that way. Or, you know, if we get into fights, for example, and she's, you know, always yelling at me or interrupting me, well, she had a bad childhood and she never got hurt as a kid. So if I just sort of sit there and really hear her and pay attention that she's going to change herself, I've been through it all, guys. And the conclusion I've come from, from my years of dating and trying to change people, is that people are not going to change. And you can try to analyze to death why they're doing things you don't want them to do. That is how they are. So you got to decide. Can you deal with people as they actually are? And the sad part is people will show you these things about themselves early on in the dating process, and yet we're so enamored, we're still in the honeymoon phase where everything's great, where there's tons of hope, where there's a chance we can change that person, and we decide to ignore it. We, we take red flags and say, nope, I can paint it green. It's just not going to be that way. And so I'd love to hear you guys in the comments talk about have you been through experiences with women or with men, if you're a girl watching this, that you've been able to actually change a habit that they had, or did you have to wait for them to actually change that? And even with that, you can't live on the hope that they're going to change that thing. They've been operating the way that they have been for X amount of years. It is comforting. It is a habit to them. And they've lived this long doing the thing or saying the thing or being into the thing that you don't want them into. And to them, it's not a bad thing. Many of the things that you're probably bugged by from that other people are doing that you're dating aren't actually necessarily bad things. It's just things that you don't like. Like in the example I gave earlier, that guy not planning dates, it's not the worst thing. I tell you guys to plan dates all the time because women aren't going to generally like that. But in the grand scheme of things, he's been able to do that and still get women that want to date him and control where they're going to date. So it's not inherently a bad thing. It's just can you handle that behavior long term? And if you're seeing behavior early on that you don't like or they're into things you don't like, not, some of those are just judgment calls and you just may not gel with them. Like I'm a guy that likes to go to the movies a lot. If I date a girl that doesn't like to go to the movies, I don't want her looking at me like he has a toxic habit of going to the movies and I don't want to be like she never goes to me to the movies. Oh my God, I hate her guts. I have to know, okay, if I'm with this person and they don't like going to the movies, I'm probably going to go alone. Is that a behavior I can deal with? I found in my example, the answer is yes, I can. So I don't bug the person that I'm dating like, hey, you got to do all this stuff for me all the time. But that might be a thing that bugs you. But either way, you have to know if that's something you can deal with because it's not fair to put your standards onto a person that doesn't have those standards or those likes or whatever. And you browbeating them to death, hoping they're going to change that is not fair to them. And it's a waste of your time. So let me know in the comments what you all think about that. And if you need more help in your daily life, guys, you can write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. You can also leave comments below. I answer questions on the show based on your guys' comments. Also, guys, I have a program at my website called the Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy. If you are a guy that is lost in dating and don't know what to do in terms of how to attract women, how to get into relationships, how to communicate and talk with them, then I have a litany of video audio and ebook courses in this membership program that is going to elevate your dating game, allow you to no longer be lost about how women function and operate, and it's going to help get you the women that you want. So you can check that out on the front page of introvertdatingsuccess.com. If you like what you see, we'd love to have you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.